Hi, my name's Keith Nickel, and I often get letters from viewers on my YouTube channel, and here's one I got a bit earlier this year from Lee. Lee writes, I really struggle with a snowplow. My snowplow doesn't seem to slow me down enough. I ski at Cyprus in Vancouver, Canada. I struggle to get enough of a V. The back of my skis is not very far apart. I exercise and train regularly, but can't figure out how on earth to get the strength to push out on the back of my skis to snowplow to slow down. If I could slow down on a hill, it would, up a, it would open up a whole bunch of new areas for me, but now I'm stuck on beginner trails for now. Thanks for the note, Lee, and I know those trails at Cyprus. When they get icy, uh, they can be hard to slow down on. But uh, let me give you a few pointers and see how you make out. So Lee, perhaps your problem is that you are skiing with your knees too close together like this. You can notice now that my skis are very, very much on edge. And it's, I find at this point hard to push my skis out because there's so much on edge. And if we start to move forward, you can see it begin to cross, which we also don't want to do. So remember, we don't want to be, you know, bow-legged. We don't want to be knock kneed we just want to have our legs at kind of a natural angle like this. We want to still be flexed, ankles, knees, and hips, but the leg is straight coming up here. Imagine that you've got a couple of pillows um, between your legs uh, to give you an idea of just a, a natural uh, snowplow position. And then from this position, it's then quite easy to widen our plow. We don't have to go to the gym, we don't have to lift weights to get the strength to do a snowplow. It actually is pretty easy. Uh, another visualization that I like when I'm trying to teach people to snowplow is the fact that we're just really twisting our foot out. We're pivoting our foot. And I ask people uh, to just imagine they've got some dirt or some gum on the bottom of their boot right at the heel that they're trying to remove. So we want to twist the foot so the heel moves out uh, more than the toe does. Let me just demonstrate this as I go down the hill. So I'm scraping away with my heel and this is widening my plow and I come to a stop. If we have more speed, just remember one thing is that the snow plow stop, if it's icy and if it's steep, will still take you some time to slow down, as I will show here. Uh, so let's just quickly review what we've covered here today. We've been dealing with leg position uh, for the snow plow and how to stop with the snow plow. We don't want to be knock kneed and we don't want to be bull legged. We just want to have our legs at a natural angle and this will produce a natural edge that when we push out on our heels will bring us to a stop. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share it with skiers you think might benefit.